Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be baking with Schleich. I am so excited. I never videotape myself baking, so it's going to be very interesting to see how this goes. So let's get started. But wait, before we get started, if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. It would mean the world to me. Now, let's get started. So the horses I'm baking with today is Beauty, the Frisian Mare, Spirit, the Chicaner Stallion, and Bruno, the German Riding Pony Gelding. So let's get baking. So the horses and I have decided that we are going to be baking a peppermint bread. Um, I've baked this recipe before, it's super good. I'll put the recipe down in the description. I totally think you should try out and bake it because it's just really good, chocolatey and pepperminty and yeah. So let me grab my baking ingredients. All right, so here's half of the ingredients we've got a lot of stuff including a big bag of chocolate chips which are super good so first we are going to whisk together the sugar and the butter to create some type of cream and then we're going to add in all of our dry ingredients so let's mix <laughs> As you can see, the butter and sugar are now creamed, so now I'm going to add in the sour cream and the eggs, and then I'm going to mix it together again. Now let's add in the sour cream. And I'll probably need a spatula to get the rest out. So I just finished uh, scraping out the rest of the sour cream because I did end up needing a spatula and Beauty has come to look at the batter. How do you think it's looking, Beauty? <laughs> um, I think she said it looks very weird at the moment, but don't worry. Once it is baked, it will be delicious, not weird looking. So, well, let me mix it now. So now as you can see, I just whisked in the eggs and sour cream and now I have like this smooth, creamy batter. And now we are going to be adding all of our dry ingredients. So I just added the flour and I didn't film that because um, I had to sift it. It didn't, the recipe didn't ask me to sift it. But I like to sift things anyway, just to get out like the clumps and the flour and stuff like that. So now we are going to be adding the cocoa powder. All right, so cocoa powder. There we go. Salt. Baking powder. So I just opened the chocolate chips and basically the horses here, especially Spirit, went totally for them because he loves chocolate and he's actually going to be watching me put in the chocolate chips. Yep. Now, last but not least, the ingredient that is going to make it real peppermint bread is the peppermint extract. All right. Now it is time to slowly mix in the chocolate chips and the peppermint extract. All right, so I just got done mixing and I had a couple of chocolate chips because you can't expect me to open a huge bag with chocolate chips and not eat some. That's crazy. And now I'm going to spoon it in to the greased dish and then we are going to put it in the oven and then we will just wait and do the dishes. All right, so my pan is greased, so now I'm just going to take the batter and I'm going to put it in the pan. Okay, 
So now I just <coughs> finished nicely spreading it in there as best as I could. And now I'm placing it in the oven for about 55 to 50 minutes, it said. So I think I'm going to do 53. And now I will do the dishes and wait. All right, guys, so the oven just beeped, so I'm going to take out the bread. Ooh, it looks perfect. And I'm going to set it right here, and then I'll show you guys how it looks like. So here is the bread. I just checked it with the toothpick, and it is nice and done. And the horses are here waiting for it. So we're going to need to wait for it to cool. And then while it's cooling, I'm going to make a ganache and then I'm going to pour it over and add some candy canes on top. And then it should look just like the picture and then it will be done. So I just made the ganache and now I'm going to pour it over the bread and then I'm going to add the crushed candy cane. <laughs> All right, so I just poured on the ganache and now I'm going to take my crushed candy cane and I am, whoops, my hand's in the way. I'm just gonna sp sp sprinkle it on and then we'll be done. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me here today. I really hope if you make this that yours turns out great as well. I haven't tried it yet, so hopefully it tastes good. It may look good, but you never know. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'll see you next week. Bye!